ただのみ、こういう例を聞きます。ただのみ、チンシス、ただのみ、ただのみ、チンシス、ただのみ、ただのみ。Before they blow these short fires, this is towards the end of the sermon, but it's coming out now. We come together at this time of year to celebrate the birth of the great I am. Alright? This is your gift. The living word, the words of eternal life. We celebrate his birth, yet he's the one who gives the gifts. We celebrate his birth. Did you hear what God said? But he gives the gifts. Gifts of eternal life, the gifts of the Holy Spirit, the power of the gift of His love to all humanity that says, Come unto me, and I will save you, I will heal you, I will set you free. So during this whole day, when they blow these shofars, this is your gift from God. You need to open your gift that He gave you every day, because this is the living Word. This is your existence. This is what He gave humanity, because this is the Son of God from Genesis to Revelation. It's from the first page, the triune God, to the last. It's here. So when you look at this, and you go home and you open up your Christmas gifts this year, and you see the little bows on it, this is the only gift you need. The rest of the stuff is just extras. Remember, every good and perfect gift comes from above, but there's only one perfect gift. There's only one. There's not two, there's not three, there's not a new car in the park, come on, there's none of that stuff. That means nothing. Because without the gift of the Son of God coming to redeem us, there is no life. Never in all my life, in 22 and a half years of ministry, have I seen it to a point to where God has shown me that without Him, you exist. You don't do anything else. You exist. You breathe, you eat, you sleep, you work, you go, you do. But without Jesus Christ, you will never have a moment's peace. You will never have a moment's joy. You will not have any comfort. Because you can't have any of that without the gift. The Son of God coming to save you. You can't have it without this. Cherish the living Word of God like you've never known in this year coming. Because the times we are in, if you are not walking with Jesus Christ, you are walking with the devil himself. I don't care how long you've gone to church. I don't care how long you've read this book. If you are not walking with Jesus Christ, you are walking with the devil. God has drawn a line in the sand in America. He's exposing us for what a corrupt nation we really are. Because now you're seeing even on TV some of this stuff going back. It came to me this morning. They're all talking about a thing a man said, these anti-gay and lesbian comments. He did not. He said what they do is sin. He talked about sin. I've said it before, this is one ministry that will talk about sin because you all have a sin nature. He came to set us free from sin. To overpower it. We can never judge anybody. This book says so. This is not a ministry of judgment, but we have to also realize we are sinners that are saved by the grace of God. He cherishes us. He loves us. But remember something. Don't be afraid to tell people we need to talk about sin because sin is what's destroying the planet. Read the book of Isaiah. It says the sin of humanity is what brings destruction on the earth, not global warming. We've already talked about that. The only global warming that's coming is the fire of God. And it will melt everything that you can see. I've seen it. and It's, it's coming. You know why? Because God said it's coming. But what he sent was his son to bring the love of God to every one of us that call on his name. So make this your Christmas gift to yourself this year. Open it every day and watch your life change. Because without this, without this, you don't, you don't even have a reason to get out of bed tomorrow morning if you don't have Jesus Christ. But we as a church have to change. The body of Christ is going to go through some major, major changes coming up this year. The old guard's going to be gone. There's going to be a new army coming. People that lift this book up to heaven and say, I belong to Jesus. And I'm proud of it. And walk with confidence who Christ is in you. And don't be afraid to confront this world where they're at. Amen. The problem with the Church of America today is we don't make our voices heard anymore. We sit in the back. Everybody came out of the closet. We need to come out of the church buildings. 
was in a store yesterday talking to a brother here in this valley. He goes to another church and we were talking. He said, it's amazing how many people go to church and when they leave church, they never talk about Jesus anymore. Make this a year when you celebrate His birthday. That's the, that's the message today, birthday celebration. We're going to talk about who we really celebrate. All the old festivals were anywhere from three days to a week to a month long. The wedding feasts were a week long. You should be celebrating Him and His birth every day of your life. If you celebrate Jesus, you know what you'll do? You'll have a life filled with His presence. He desires you to come to Him and not let go. So when they pull the shofars today, remember something. You've already got everything you need right here. Don't look elsewhere. And do not look to man this coming year. Because if you're looking to man for hope, for help, if you're looking to a government that doesn't fear God, God have mercy on your souls. You look to Jesus. He's the resource of life. And an abundant life spiritually, mentally, emotionally, physically, financially. He is the resource of an abundant life. And no one else is. Not the world, because they will disappoint you every breath you take. So trust in Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Come on, open the door. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Hi, ladies. Good morning. Good morning. Hallelujah. gift from God. People miss that. It says, each day is made new every morning. Today was different than yesterday. You know why? Because God made it. He creates something new for you every day if we look around. But we don't. We're too busy looking in the mirror, looking at ourselves, looking at what you don't have. Like I said, if you look inside this book, you'll see you already have everything. Everything you could possibly ever dream of and a whole lot more. Oh, hallelujah. If I made it back to that. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, we come before you with grateful hearts to celebrate the birth of your Son. But Lord, let a celebration stay in our heart every day. Because without Him coming, O oh God, there is no life, there is no salvation. Father, we thank you for this day, this time of year, this festive time of giving and receiving. But God, everything we receive is from above. Lord, we want nothing else than what you have for us, oh God. We just thank you for the presence of your Son in here right now and the power of the love that put him on that cross and rose him from the dead so that we have life eternal. Oh God, we bless the holy name of Jesus. We bless the blood of Jesus. Lord, we just dedicate this time of fellowship, of music, of preaching of the Word. We give it into Your hands, O oh God. Let everything we sing to You, O oh God, and speak, O oh God, be pleasing in Thy sight and in Thy ears. Let everything we do bring glory to the most holy name of Jesus. God, we invite You in here today. But God, we invite You back into America. Take this country back over again and refine us with fire, O oh God. You're a consuming fire. Burn us until we repent and turn from our sinful ways and humble ourselves under your mighty hand, O God, so that this again can be a one great nation under God, one united nation to bring glory to your holy name. You've given us this land, O God. We praise you, we bless you, and we thank you for it. And Lord, we pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Your children Israel are surrounded on every side. Arise in Israel and let her enemies be scattered this day, O God. We just thank you for the great work you're going to do on this earth. The great revival that's going to break out. People coming back to you by the millions, O God, and turning their hearts over to you, O God, because that is the only gift we can give to you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, thank you, Jesus. Wow. I can't tell you the amount of love God has for you because I don't know. I don't know. His love is immeasurable. 
I spent the last two days crying more than I've cried in years. Just thinking of his goodness. Thinking how much he loves me. But I was also crying for this country. I was crying for the church that is so fallen away from God. That's why we never judge ministries here. The church is one. There are no denominations in the Bible. There isn't any. There isn't any. John the 17th chapter, he died that we be one. Because in oneness there is unity, in oneness there is power, in oneness he will arise in here in such a great way. You won't be able to contain him and you're not supposed to. The power of God is supposed to live through you and come back out of you. The river of life is supposed to bring life to those in darkness. We've lost our way in the church. This year is a time, this time of Christmas time. Remember something, you have one gift to give to God. It's your heart. He can't do anything with you unless he has the entire organ. He can't help you. He can't set you free. The only blessings you'll get will be from the devil and not from your maker. Because this has to be purified. It has to be one with him. He died so we could be one. When they see you, they should see the life of Christ in you. That's what they should see. It doesn't happen overnight. And if you can get there by tomorrow morning and you got it all dialed in, please write a book because we all need to know about it. This is a lifelong journey we're on here together. Together, as a family of one, as we edify and build and strengthen one another, come alongside one another, spend more time encouraging people, and they'll see Jesus in you. Stop tearing everybody down. Stop blaming the country and governments and people and everything else. You know what? Stop blaming and start praising and your life will change. Because we could all sit here and point fingers. But then you better go home and look in the mirror because it's coming right back for you. Because there's nobody perfect but one. The perfect gift that came over 2,000 years ago. Amen? Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Christmas Eve, try and get here before 6 so we can get going by 6 if you can. And if you're late, oh well, guess what? Doors will be open. Because <laughs> one thing I do know is life happens. Life happens. So if you're not on time for something tomorrow or tonight or next weekend or Tuesday night, you know what? The world will keep spinning. The stars are going to shine. God's still on the throne and you got nothing to worry about. Yeah. Okay? That's what we should be celebrating. Because what happened over 2,000 years ago, everybody thinks baby Jesus was born that day. He was never a baby. He was always God. I, talk, I When I listen to people, and the people I've talked to this week, oh, baby, what do you say? No. No, no, no. I am was in the manger. He could have spoke from the manger and said, let it all end. He was God when He emptied Himself. Remember something? He emptied Himself. Came down, took on humanity for us. That's who came. Because He was already God. He's never not been. He was God on the cross. So remember what we're celebrating right now. God came. It says Emmanuel's coming. God with you. Didn't say a baby. It said God with you. His name is Emmanuel. God with us. God with us. That should bring peace to your heart today. Oh, Lord Jesus. What else we got? That's at 6. Um, New Year's Eve is a Tuesday. Does anybody want to do anything? Or are you all going on not partying? <laughs> hey, if you want to do something here on New Year's Eve, you know me. I'll preach seven days a week, 24 hours a day. You ought to know me better by now. You will tell me I talk too much anyway. No, you want to do something New Year's Eve here? Okay. Okay, we'll do something New Year's Eve. Hallelujah. Uh, whatever you want, I haven't made it to a midnight in so many years, it's ridiculous. Yeah, amen. <laughs> like I said, my wife went to a thing for her job the other on Friday night, and all day long I said, you know, I'm just not supposed to go. It isn't that we can never judge people, but in 22 and a half years, God's changed me a little bit. She went and it was a blessing because she was had a divine appointment. There were a couple of them that night. I was supposed to be right here. Because what happened here was so important for someone that it, it touched some lives here Friday night. So, 
Never want to go and to be somewhere when God has you somewhere else. Because there's always a reason. Now, she was supposed to be there, but I was not. He had me here for a divine purpose, and Friday night I knew why. He's come to set the captives free. I know why I'm here. Okay, so that's why God created me. She had a divine appointment to run into some people. She hadn't seen in a long time, and it was a divine appointment. But stop making your own divine appointments try and come into pass, okay? This is a year where the body of Christ needs to be available to their maker. Because he can only use a vessel that's willing to say no to your plans and yes to his. Last time I checked the Bible this morning, I saw that God was still the creator, maker, possessor of all things in heaven and earth. He wrote your book of your life before the world began. Let him turn the pages. Stop turning your own pages and let God take over in Jesus' name this year. Amen. Amen. Tithes and offerings, we've talked about this before. That can back there. This ministry depends upon all of you being faithful to God. You're not being faithful to this ministry, but you're being faithful to God. I've shared this a couple weeks ago. It is so important that you pray and obey. Because without the money coming into this ministry, it can't keep going. That's something else. I made a pledge to this ministry. I put every ounce of my being into it, and I do every day. That being said, I'm not boasting in myself. It's what I'm called to. I just accepted the call, and that's all I've done. I just said yes to Jesus. But it's up to you if you really believe in this city changing, you believe in what we believe here in this ministry and the power of God running your lives, then you will put into it so it can be sustained. Because these lights won't stay on, <clears throat> the TV won't get hooked up. Uh-oh. Hello? You wrecked the book. What's up? <laughs> Hallelujah. We thank you, Jesus, though, because like I said, it's so important. If you really believe in this ministry and where we're going, you want a bigger building, you want all these things, it does take your obedience to God. God blesses a cheerful giver. I don't want you to feel like you'll ever be forced here to give because the one you're giving to is Him. You're giving it to the kingdom of God, which has no end. God's testing your heart, not mine. He already knows my heart. <laughs> And every time I exercise my own heart, I get in trouble. I don't know about any of you, but I do. So you need to pray this year and see where God's leading you. Because it is important, ladies and gentlemen. You want God to bless you, you will bless God. So you pray about that this year, because coming into the next year, we're going to see where this ministry is really going to go. I know the visions God's given me and others. I know what He wants to do with us. I know we need a bigger building. I know I need classrooms. We need all that stuff. But it's up to you to pray to see what God tells you to do and what you want to be a part of. And it's okay either way, because like I said, I'm going to serve God until my last breath is out of this body. So I can preach from here, I can preach on the street corner, wherever I preach, I'm going to be preaching. Because it's all I know how to do. I'm not good at anything else. And the only reason I'm good at this is because the Holy Spirit does it through me, and it's not me that's doing it. So I can't even take credit for that. Amen? Amen. <laughs> so pray about it this year. We're coming into a new year. I know what God has shown me He wants for this valley. I know that I was talking to a Christian brother yesterday. I went in the store and we were talking about how he said God is shaking him up and others around him. He sees the work of the Holy Spirit, how He's pushing on people to let go of themselves and let God take over so we can really change things. Because it is not by your efforts or your power, but by His Spirit living through you that will change this city. It won't be us. It will be the power of God in us that will be a beacon of light. But you have to start being ready. You need to you need to read the Christmas present. You want to walk in power and authority? You want to have the light of the gospel living through you? Read the book. Because the only thing that will come out of you is the world if you're not meditating on this word. Amen. Remember that. So as you sing today, you worship Jesus. Okay, we'll be here New Year's Eve. We'll be here Christmas Eve. We covered all that. If you want some snacks or something, let me know after church is over today. So I know what kind of food we're going to have and stuff like that for Tuesday if you even want or if we're just going to come sing and worship. That's fine too. Ed went to town yesterday, picked up a box of candles. we got enough candles now to last us till whenever. They didn't have any small boxes, so we got a big one. Uh, so we're good to go. That means our light will never go Amen. It can't because he's eternal. They can have eternal lights all they want. we got the one eternal light that can never go out. Amen. 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 So as you worship today, remember something. We're celebrating His birthday. 
But the one's birthday, remember something, everybody brings gifts to whoever's birthday it is. They unwrap their gifts. It's his birthday, yet he's the one that gives the gifts. This is a whole different birthday celebration today, amen? amen. So ladies, sing, open your hearts to the Holy Spirit, let them have you.